Got a little test set up here to show you what a coil does in a subwoofer motor or an electromagnet coil in general. I have a DC, I have three old weak AA batteries um, taped together basically just to demonstrate this. I have a small magnet sitting right here next to the coil. And what's going to happen is, yeah, I'll hook up my lead so you guys can see the power. Alright, so I have my multimeter set up. What we're going to do is just connect the coil. And as you saw, the magnet moved away. Disconnect, and put it right back up there. As you can see it pulled the magnet away again and yeah the magnet doesn't want to sit by the coil at all it just wants to move away get away from it doesn't matter which way you set it it rolls away no matter what disconnect Set it right there and it don't roll. So that's just, um, let's see here, what is the voltage we're getting on that? 3.5 volts. And like I said, they're weak old batteries, so it's not dangerous at all. As you can see, push that magnet away. No matter what I do, it wants to. Roll away from there. If you take the other side of the magnet, it actually pulls itself to it. See? I said I'm working with such a low voltage that it's hard to show this stuff, but there you go. Pulled right to the coil. But yeah, my batteries are starting to get wore down. That's with DC current. As you know, we normally put AC current through our voice coils to make our subwoofers move, so. Yep, 